Hey everyone, we're here with the new Julius, which is also a yellow unit. So basically they're on that streak of uh, trying to buff yellow units. Pretty interesting. Uh, kind of came out of nowhere, but I'm all about it. Especially with uh, Typhoon being out. I um, love getting her some more support because she's one of my favorite characters, at least from what I've seen. Um, so yeah, we're going to get into it. We'll talk about his stats here. Uh, we do not have his memory translated in the Discord. Um... Unless I just missed it. Uh, so I'm going to try and Google Translate it on the fly. But uh, yeah, well, it's it's not the most reliable. So his stats being, uh, he's got 15k HP, 1400 attack, 900 defense, and uh, 180 speed, 50, 20, 20, 35, um, um, 50, 120, 20, 35. Uh, the red numbers, I keep having someone bring it up. I am aware that this adds to the plate to the base stats so the red numbers are from this and what they do is basically just add the stats so 30 percent of this would equivalent to that and then you just go ahead and add it so technically he's at like like 19 to 20 k hp but I, I i just don't say anything i just i take it into account in my head thinking oh that's nice but i just don't verbally say anything so if you guys were ever confused on that i guess you know there you go um but yeah he's got some pretty solid stats overall um He's got a decent amount of HP for as much attack as he has. I'm assuming he's an attacker. Uh, he kind of looks like the Ryan build, where Ryan was kind of like in the middle. Let's take a look at Ryan real quick. Because even though I, I believe... Honestly, I don't know what Ryan does anymore. Um, but yeah, he does have like the same sort of bonuses. Attack, agility, um, HP. I don't know if that's like a knight thing where they want the knights to be like well-rounded because they're like soldiers and stuff or it's just like a gimmick uh, with this batch like it, it just depends on how Felix is gonna turn out because I know he's coming um, I, I'm pretty sure they released all the art on the official Twitter already so yeah we'll have to see what Felix is um, it could be just like a coincidence either way take a look at his stats he's got um Yellow allies, debuff resistance, 55%. Pretty much, um, I think we already have a, a leader skill like that already. 55 is pretty standard. They haven't really upped it in a while. Um, 55 is pretty much the normal. It is only for yellow allies. Then we have the basic. Okay, take a look at that. Physically attacks one enemy with 700% power, ignoring invincibility, increases transgression effect of all enemies by 3,000, ignoring debuff and buff resistances. Okay, so his basic's insane as a complementary to transgression units, uh, which would be Typhoon and I believe Rhine. Um, but yeah, so if you just apply that initial transgression, go ahead and hit them with the um, physical attack, their basic. Uh, yeah, pretty solid, like, just, it just complements the units really well, so I like that. It works pretty nice. Uh, it does have the pierce through invincibility, uh, regardless, so I don't know if it has to actually do damage numbers in order to activate that. I would assume not, but I don't know. Just never know. Uh, then we have the basic. While the field effect is active, oh, does he have a field skill? While the field effect is active, yellow allies receive immunity to charm, freeze, stun, taunt, peel off. See, this is cool and all, but I feel like... Didn't Typhoon have this? Where she just, like, gave uh, yellow ally units, like, immunities to certain stuff. I feel like a lot of the immunities just kind of overlap to the point where it's like, what's the point? Because if every unit has immunity to charm, it's like, what's the point of that, that skill, you know? Either way. When an ally recovers HP, increases transgression effects of all enemies by 1,200. Uh, when defeated, every 10 turns, slash, oh, okay, so when defeated or every 10 turns, 100% chance to inflict transgression on all enemies and increase their transgression effect by 10,000. This skill ignores buffs and debuff resistances. Okay, so he can apply transgression every 10 turns. Uh, we're gonna need a unit to over, um, to over time his his turn or what just make his turns go by faster to increase his turns so Roz can do that. Uh, but you do want a yellow unit, so I would assume maybe Felix is gonna do that. I don't think Ryan does that. Um, oh, or Felt, Felt. I'm not sure what Felt does, but I know she's like a staple. Uh, she could do that potentially. 
I, I don't remember what Felt does. <clears throat> but yeah, the goal would be to make it to where he gets 10 turns immediately, applies a transgression, or unless you have, you know, Typhoon, you can just, I'm pretty sure Typhoon's field skill can just, like, activate it, so, like, right as she enters the battle, so. Either way, uh, this guy is really good with Typhoon, I think, because uh, his kit so far is all about transgression, and if you're just increasing that over and over and over again, and there's nothing they can do about it, then, you know, GG's. Uh, then we have his skill 2, transgression, physically attacks, uh, that's going to be 20x transgression damage three times with 300% power on all enemies, ignore damage mitigations and invincibility. Damn. And heal your own HP by 50% of damage dealt. Grant yellow allies protection, resistance, and auto recovery. That's cool. Auto recovery doesn't get enough love. Uh, it's cool to see that uh, come back around. Uh, protection and resistance. Nice. Three turns. All of those are for three turns. Um, I love this unit. He's really good. If you have Typhoon uh, and you have the 6.5k gems, he's a really good, good complementary unit. I kind of really vibe with him. Uh, I'll take a look at his memory. I, I would assume it's either human or a knight memory. We'll have to wait and see. It's HP and I would think maybe attack. We'll have to see. Oh, Anastasia camp. Okay, so this is agility and HP. Anastasia camp. Interesting. Okay, so he's got about 15% agility, 25% uh, HP, and his passive is going to be... Well, the field effect is active. Activate the cool time increase and valid... Validity of... Valid... I'm trying to read this word. Have patience. Hmm. Cool time increase and valid to yourself. Oh, okay, so... While the field effect is active, which is transgression, I would imagine, I don't think your cooldowns can be increased. This is, like, really strong, actually. That's, like, um, that's something you would see on a passive or, like, an actual character. Oh, wow. So, while transgression is active or the field skill or field effect, I don't know, I don't know exactly what it means by field effect. I would assume it means transgression because that's what this character is based off of like um the typhoon field skill or it could just be any field skill i have no idea how it works but you get invalid to cooldown increases so that's really good i i his memory is very much worth it i really okay so this yeah this banner and this character pretty worth imo uh, i know these aren't should you summons but uh hey <laughs> if you got typhoon even if you don't have typhoon um but i'm still trying to sink every gem i have it there <laughs> I've done, was it nine multi so far? Hoping I get her on my 10th, but man, I'm just having no luck here. It is unfortunate, but it is what it is. I'll have at least enough for one multi uh, by reset, the end of reset today, but still. Um, so yeah, that's gonna do it. Go look in your pools. Uh, I think this character is pretty solid. Definitely much better than Ryan. And I'm very interested to see what Felix is gonna be like. So yeah, that's gonna do it for the video. I'll see you guys next time.